We are officially in the final countdown for this Majin Buu Saga campaign. We could be seeing a brand new Ultra unit as early as this upcoming weekly reset. In today's video, we'll be discussing exactly which Ultra that could be and much, much more. As always, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe because I try to provide as much value as I can in this channel. And with that being said, let's try to get into it. Right, guys so we are in the final countdown for this majin buu saga campaign and i for one am extremely excited because i believe this campaign will end off in a huge banger i mean honestly just think about it if, if you do not think we're gonna get another ultra unit before this campaign is over you guys are 100 delusional and i'm sorry to be so blunt like that but Honestly, do you think we're going to get a campaign and just get one character, which by the way, was a hype character, which was LF, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, but do you think they're just going to end it off in one character? That's it. That's all we got, one character. You guys might be delusional. I mean, honestly, um, and it's going to be the final character before the anniversary, which is just weeks away. So um, I believe this character is going to be an absolute banger, and a lot of YouTubers think so as well, um, such as Goresh. He thinks it's going to be the best ultra up to date. I think it's a little bit debatable, but um, I think it's going to be a very interesting ultra um, to say the least. And today's video, we're going to be discussing the whole thing, guys. So let's not waste any time. I want you guys to comment down below your thoughts as I'm talking as well, because I love to read your guys' comments. And with that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, always make sure you simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's not waste any time, guys. I'm pretty excited, as you guys can see. So uh, we are officially on Saturday, okay? Now, we have four question marks left, just four, okay? debatable three and i'll explain what i mean by that in just one bit now um two of these i believe is pretty much set in stone or actually three of these for the most part right one of them is going to be an ultra unit which i i truly truly believe which is probably going to be this one of these two right here now the one next to it i believe is going to be the rising battle to go alongside the ultra unit because if you guys didn't know um every single ultra unit that comes out we get a rising battle to go alongside with that so i believe two of them is going to be one an ultra unit and a rising battle to go along with that and then the third one they would be absolutely i don't want to curse here but they would absolutely be dumb to not include an lf zenkai kid boo onto this mix it's the perfect time to bring out region i mean honestly guys if they are buffing region honestly like this we'll be talking about it in just one bit but the ultra might as well just be a boo confirmed by now right uh, we just got this, um, you know, uh, this uh, good Zenkai Buu unique equipment, which, you know, rightfully so, he's not as good as people thought he was going to be, but still, it's very noticeable that they do want to buff regen, and we just got the second form cell not too long ago as well, and if they just bring out a busted Ultra Buu, whether it be any form of Buu, which we'll discuss in just one bit, um, alongside a Zenkai Kid Buu, we, we could start talking about regen getting its it's you know true potential from what it was years ago it's been years since region has been kind of noticeable and i think this could be a very good uh you know opportunity for them so all right guys let's talk about exactly which ultra this will be now there is a very limited options okay very limited actually technically speaking if you guys just want to narrow it down to a boo because there's so many boos as you guys can see um and we'll be discussing exactly what what i want to see from this boo if we do get a boo so there's this right it's going to be inside the Majin Buu saga campaign obviously um any kind of form of boo an ultimate gohan from where he lands and just takes out uh super boo with, uh stylish fashion which is one of my favorites and then of course uh this is i think the least probability but you never know because uh, he's still fusion warrior. It's a, it's, I don't want to say least probability because there's a, there's also a pretty solid chance this might happen. Just don't forget guys. We also got fusion. Um, you know, of course, super Vegeta that just came back. So maybe a fusion buff as well, leading up towards the anniversary with Vegeta blue. So this is also a possibility as well. I'm not going to rule this one out because I did forget he is fusions, um, ultimate Gohan and everybody's saying we're going to get a boo. Now, which boo would I like to see personally for me? I wouldn't rule out Zenkai. I mean, not Zenkai. I would rule out Kid Buu just because I do want to see a Zenkai LF Kid Buu. So I would rule out Kid Buu and I would bring out a base form uh, Super Buu. And now hear me out, guys. Dragon Ball Legends has been very unique with their characters as of late. If you just take a look at hits, you know, with his time skip, it's very, very unique and it's very well done. As well as the Majin Buu bros, um, you know, with the whole switch mechanic. It's just very unique and I love it. Um, 
this right here would be the perfect opportunity to bring out a super boo where if a teammate or an enemy dies whatever the case may be he absorbs um, a specific character now of course it wouldn't make any sense for for you to kill just for example like a goku and then you absorb goku that's not how it works it, it would work very similar to cell's transformation how he just goes off to the side and absorbs an 18 android 18 so um i would see something like that with boo where he absorbs for example boo tanks um upon let's just say an enemy dying or a team member dying something around those lines um, or maybe just ha it doesn't even need to be a character dying. It could be his unique gauge filling up twice, right? The first unique gauge he goes to Buhan, and then the second unique gauge he goes. I mean, uh, the first unique gauge he goes to Bu Tanks, and then the second unique gauge that fills up he would go into Buhan, right? That would be really epic. I would. I'll tell you guys right now. I rarely 14 stars. I would rarely put up like 500 to a thousand USD into a unit but this would be one of the characters i would personally do it this is speaking to me personally if they do it like i just explained i will 14 star that unit for sure like i remember when beast gohan got announced i didn't even think twice I'm like i i don't care what it costs i am for sure going to 14 star uh beast gohan now comment down below guys what do you guys think about this i think this would be the best possibility um, i mean I, I mean boo would be the best possibility but I think this would be absolutely awesome for them to do something around these lines. Uh, just since they've been making these characters very unique. And um, and I could definitely see that, man, leading up towards the anniversary. If that happens right before the anniversary, it's like, what would come out for the anniversary, right? A lot of people are saying Orange Piccolo with the return of Beast Gohan. That's a very good possibility because he is regen. And then it would also buff regen as well. So you would have this ultra uh, sick boo. And then you would also have Zenkai LF Kid Boo. And then, of course, a, perhaps maybe a revival LF Orange Piccolo where he dies uh, from potential unlocked and then goes into kind of like the movie, right? Um, I was about to say spoilers, but it's just spoiled at this point in time. I'm not, I'm not going to say any spoilers on that. But um, yeah, and then obviously we also have Ultimate Gohan, which would be the least one I would want um, as an Ultra. I would prefer a Gotenks. And this is just me speaking for my own. Um... The Gold Tanks would make more sense for me because um, if they really want to buff Fusion Warrior leading up towards the the fifth anniversary, which everybody's speculating, Ultra Vegito Blue, right? The anniversary has always had an Ultra, guys. Uh, first anniversary, LF, you know, um, Super Vegito. Second anniversary, also we got, you know, of course, Vegito Blue, the LF. Uh, and then third anniversary, my favorite defensive menace, G4, Gogeta 4. Um, and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then of course, 4th anniversary, last year we got another Super Vegeta, but Ultra version, so people are speculating, this year, Ultra Vegeta Blue, and then next year, uh, for the 60th anniversary, I can't believe I actually said that, but it would be uh, Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which actually sounds insane, but, uh, but yeah guys, comment down below what you guys think about all this, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video, region is... They could do some stuff with region, man, for example, they got Zamasu, right, they Zenkai this Kid Buu, uh, they're both blue, so that wouldn't really make any sense. But um, I guess second form cell. But then they bring out Orange Piccolo, a a brand new boo, and this good boo just got Zenkai. Or, or the Zenkai boo just got a brand new unique equipment, which is like a Zenkai. But yeah, man, I'm very curious to see how this campaign is gonna end. I feel like it's gonna end with a banger. And with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff because I appreciate every single one of my subscribers. I really, really do. And uh, I'll definitely catch you guys once again for a YouTube short later on. So uh, stay tuned for that. Have a good one. Peace.